this is the underside of our research vessel where we're doing some very low tech but highly important housekeeping, cleaning the hull of the ship. A thick crust of marine worms and barnacles has covered up some of the most critical instruments on the ship and it's interfering with our science mission. Let's take a beat here to appreciate the hull in its pristine pre-barnacle condition back in 2020 when the vessel was brand new. So we're down here in the dry dock at the very bottom of the ship and this here is the acoustic gondola. So the acoustic gondola is jam-packed with all of our sensors for measuring the seafloor and the water column. It's what is going to allow us to make those high resolution maps, find the really cool fish, and then send our ROVs and subs down and go and look at those interesting things on the seafloor. But we can't do any of that when the sensors look like this. The buildup causes inaccurate readings. For instance, it interferes with the sonar system that we use to make highly detailed maps of the seafloor. Without correct readings, we can't make accurate maps or get a good picture of the water column. And we rely on that data to plan our submersible dives and carry out all of our science objectives. So at 7 a.m., before the day's operations begin, some of the crew suits up for a cleaning session led by the dive safety officer. Good morning. So we're about to do a hull inspection and a cleaning of the gondola where all our scientific equipment and our mapping equipment is. So it's about an hour dive and we will be scraping barnacles off propellers and cleaning very gently scientific equipment with your regular box standard dish mop. Adios, amigos. The crew splits into teams. One group heads to the propellers at the stern and the other tackles the gondola at the bow. This buildup which can include bacteria, algae, mussels, and other marine life, is called biofouling. It begins as soon as you put a hard surface in the water, and it's a huge problem for ships. It can increase drag, reduce speed and maneuverability, increase fuel consumption, and speed up corrosion. That's why many vessels are treated with special coatings. Some coatings rely on chemical reactions to repel marine organisms, while others make the surface slippery so that it's physically harder for the organisms to latch on. But these coatings can't entirely stop the process, they just slow it down. So it won't be long before the crew is back for another round of hull cleaning so that the ship can keep exploring the unexplored.